this video, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you all about the fundamentals of how a plate frame system works in a chilled water system. If you have a building where there are interior units that need to be supplied with chilled water uh, that do not have access to outdoor air, a plate frame system is a very useful system to provide that water for those units, especially during the colder periods of the year. Um, when we get down into the 50s and below, we do have some locations where the uh, those units still need to have chilled water. And we cannot run a chiller for obvious reasons. You know, if we have it extremely cold outside, we cannot run a chiller. So the plate frame is the option that we will go with. What you're seeing here is a graphical layout of a plate frame system. And I wanted to give you just a little bit of an understanding of how these function. This is just an overview. Every system is going to be a little bit uniquely different, but this is just one of a few that we have. And if what I wanted to do is to begin by showing you that uh, you can see here, this is the chiller, if you can see where the mouse is pointing. And here is the plate frame. This is just basically a big heat exchanger is all it is. Uh, these two valves here, these are isolation valves that are on the heat exchanger, and we also have isolation valves on that chiller. So when the weather outside gets low enough to where we cannot run the chiller, what we will do is enable the plate frame system. Uh, well, of course, these valves here will then close, these valves here will then open. You can see the blue lines representing the chilled water lines and the green lines are representing the condenser water lines. Up here in the upper right, we have the cooling tower itself. And what we will do is flow the water through the heat exchanger. Uh, once those valves open and these valves close, you know, we're switching from the chiller to the heat exchanger and the chilled water will be pushed through the heat exchanger and as well as the condenser water will be pu pushed through the heat exchanger. The colder well, the weather outside, it's going to chill that water as it flows over the tower and then the heat exchanger will cool down the water. It will pull the heat from the chilled water system and from those units. Now, in a chilled water system like this, you do have to have either glycol or some other type of antifreeze in the system. Depending on how cold it is in your area, uh, you do need to keep that water from freezing. So that is something that uh, you need to remember. And the pumps, of course, are going to work pretty much how they do under normal operations when the chiller is running. The only difference is the heat exchanger, the plate frame system will be enabled and the chiller will be disabled. And once the weather warms back up outside, uh, just the opposite will be true. We will then close the isolation valves on the heat exchanger, open the isolation valves on the chiller, and then run the chiller. Some of these systems can actually maintain a decent amount of chilled water uh, even when the weather warms up. I mean, we have some systems that will actually provide adequate chilled water even when we get into around 60 degrees. Now they cannot do it for an extended amount of time but when we do get into those days where temperatures will reach around 60 or so uh, those buildings seem to maintain fine and we can keep the chiller down a little longer and actually capture that cost savings. That is one of the big advantages for a system like this is the cost savings you get from running it. Uh, as you all are aware, uh, running a chiller is something that does consume a large amount of energy. So the more that we can keep those chillers down, uh, the more energy we can save. But guys, this is just a quick video that I wanted to do to give you all a little bit better understanding of a plate frame system. 
If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. Also, guys, down in the description, I have links to some of the various tools that I use. Uh, those links, if you purchase anything, that kind of goes to help the channel out. Uh, it's through Amazon. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, but it does help out what we do here. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Check out all the other videos on the channel, and we will see you next time.